Our next match getting decided here. I wonder what's going to happen. This is a normal match under normal rules with switching enabled. On the blue corner, we have Exploud, Flygon, and Hopip. On the red corner, we've got Rolts, Latios, and Articuno. Wow, we're getting the legendary Pokemon here on red. Yes, we are. Do you have any favorites for this match, Dolly Gamer? Um, let's just go through all the moves. Hmm, hmm. I don't know, I'm partial to red myself, but who knows, it could go either way. As is typical here where Twitch plays Pokemon, it can easily go any way. The blue corner right now looking like the underdogs here. I think it's a 438% potential payout should you bet in the blue corner and you win. A little over two minutes left. Get your bets in. That payout could be yours, but you got to bet. You got to risk money to get high rewards. Yes, don't lose because then you lose money. And losing money, never a fun option here, but always possible. That's how the economy exists here in Twitch Place Pokemon. I thought the economy exists by keeping people in the 500 club. That too. You gotta generate moolah by generating moolah. Well, 500 or 100, depending on whether you have money to spend or not. And of course, if you do, it's only $5 a month to subscribe here to Twitch Place Pokemon. We thank all of our subscribers, donators, and viewers. Without that, Twitch Place Pokemon would not be the same. No, it would cease to exist, and then I have to find something else to fill that hole in my day. That would be sad. Very sad indeed. And Felk has actually just posted a link in chat here to the Pokemon Puzzle Challenge in real time. So be sure to check that out when you get a moment. A little over 50 seconds left. Get those bets in. That payout could be yours. But like I said, you got to bet. And again, your next run coming up, Pokemon Blaze Glaze, coming up in a little less than 29 days. And that's going to be sure to be an exciting thing here as Marisa Steam plays from, I believe, a Tohu game. I can't read it there. 20 seconds left. Get those bets in. And with that, now our match underway here. The blue corner will send out their x Cloud first. The red corner will send out their Ralts. Normal match under normal rules. And the Waterfall Coliseum. Nice music. Oh, this is great. This is great. Both corners looking healthy out the gate here. Let's see what happens. Ralts moves first, will go for Taunt. It's going to taunt that x Cloud. That's just BMing. Don't taunt it. It's going to yell at you. It's already loud enough as it is. Oh, yeah, I got taunted out of using Hound. Ralts going for the Destiny Bond here. Let's see how that works out. x Cloud tries to fling its object at it. And it will fling its Light Ball. That's the wrong type of ball. You meant to throw your Snag Ball at the rope. Oh, the Ralts down to critical health from that light ball. But it gets paralyzed. <laughs> oh, oh cool. my goodness. They both get the... paralyzed. How this match is turned right out of that gate. How amazing is that? x Cloud <laughs> going back to the blue corner here. Looks like they're going to try and switch in now for their hop in. Ralts paralyzed this turn, so the blue corner gets a free switch. Hopip tries to go for some synthesis here, but Halloran has full HP as Ralt goes for its psychic attack. Critical hit! 
Ouch. That was basically the damage the light bulb did. Yes, it was. As Hoppip restores a little bit of health with its citrus berry there. Hoppip up to about three, sorry, one quarter health here. Moving first goes for a sunny day. Did you just shut off the AC, Dollar Gamer? No. I thought you did. Oh, I did not here. As Frawls goes for another psychic, that's going to take down Hoppip. Ouch. AC is still out here in the Waterfall Coliseum as the Blue Corner now must switch in either their Flygon or their x -Cloud. And it is their x -Cloud coming out again for the Blue Corner. The underdogs in this match. Waltz goes for a Psychic again on x -Cloud and taking it down to about three quarters health. Both corners paralyzed here, but x -Cloud will try to fling again. Nothing to fling, however. It doesn't have another life roll. x -Cloud just trying to do anything to can to get that last bit of health off of Ralts. And x -Cloud howls at it. I don't know how that doesn't do damage. It's an x -Cloud. A howl from that thing is going to hurt. With Ralts being paralyzed, it couldn't react to the horror of getting yelled at by x -Cloud. Ralts is still paralyzed as x -Cloud goes for Fire Fang. Likely to finish off Ralts here. Rip Ralts. You tried. He gets a you tried badge as he goes back to the red trainer here. Sunlight still strong in the Coliseum. The red corner must either send out their Latios or their Articuno. And it looks like they go for their Latios. x -Bots. Still paralyzed here at half health. Latios moves first, goes for Luster Purge. Solid hit. Down to critical health now as x Blood special defense falls. It goes for Smelling Salt. Ooh, wow, that nice was a hit. really nice hit. But the power of Salt will do that. Just as our AC turns back on, both corners at critical health. Latios moves first, goes again for Lusterford. That's likely to take down the X Cloud, and it does. The blue corner down to their final Pokemon now. Their Flygon, it looks like. And Flygon goes for Dragon Claw right off the bat here. That might finish off Latios. It does as a super effective hit hits. So we're down to Flygon versus Articuno. Anyone's game here, both Pokemon will be at full health here. Articuno exerting its pressure, making Flygon use 2 PP per move. Flygon going for Thunder Punch right off the bat. Super effective on Articuno. Nice hit there. Very light though. And here comes the Powder Snow. Super effective on Flygon. It holds on just barely though. It was a valiant attempt to lose, but I don't see how you're going to pull this one off unless you get a Paralysis. We shall see here as Articuno goes down to half health here. Articuno not paralyzed, goes to Power Snow, four times super effective, and down goes Flygon. The red corner, your overdog victor here. And we're gonna give a congratulations to everyone in the red corner for that amazing matchup. Ending free from Zero Wing. Now that game is notable for causing one of the earliest memes in all existence. Yes, indeed. Very exciting of a game. Uh, I find the gameplay is not great, but when all your base belong to us, it's going to be an interesting game. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ha ha ha. Get your inputs in now, Pokemon Dark Greystone, as we again, we just beat the gym leader. One token on the line to one lucky inputter here. Could be you, get your inputs in, it's totally free, just pay shipping. 
Two tokens now on the line. Thank you to Brigif19 for that. TPP Simulator saying, Balance already, why you switched? Dola, I don't know about you, but I want to go with Select here. Ah, uh, I'm just going with the majority for the A. I might wait next time. A very nice thing there indeed. And congratulations to Felk, and I couldn't see the other name there for the token. Hashtag never lucky. And our next match, game decided now, a normal match under normal rules with switching enable. On the blue corner we have Manaphy, Ho-Oh, and Weezing. And on the red corner we've got Marill, Hippopotus, and Giraffe. Gotta love that belly drum on the Marill though. That's gonna make life interesting. Any favorite Pokemon or favorite teams on this match so far, Dolly Gamer? Well, I have noticed that the first Pokemon on each team is super effective against the second. Very interesting observation there. Yes, it is, actually. Morel with a substitute move as well. Always got to love when you see that that giant uh, Poké Doll come out. I find this Morel set very interesting myself. But also, I'm not sure if it's going to come through. It's like Belly Jump Substitute? That seems like... A that seems like they're gonna pull substitute out, then go for belly drum, and then they'll be pretty set if they can keep alive. Very interesting observation there. A little less than two minutes. Get your bets in. The uh, actually odds are even as of this moment. And of course, those odds will change throughout this match. Here, they always do. But that payout could be yours if you bet and you win. The more you bet, the more you can win. Or, if you're like me and a pessimist, the more you bet, the more you can lose. Unless you're Very at the 100 true. or 500 club, in which case you can't lose anything. Go all in. Yeah, go all in, because that way you at least get something. And under a minute now, get those bets in. Pokemon Blaze Glaze coming up in less than 29 days. We thank you guys again for watching Twitch Plays Pokemon, Twitch's original Twitch Plays launch in 2014. We thank you personally, all 221 of you amazing fine viewers. Thirty seconds left. Whiz pig race. Uh oh, what face? Ah, oh. oh, whiz pig. I'm sorry, I always used to really struggle on this. Face. I always love this music just because it's not like the red alert theme. It's the more of like, oh god, it's a whiz pig. It's. I love the music. Yeah, you can race. It was a great game. And the match now begins, the blue corner with their Manaphy first, the red corner with their Marill. As now we travel to the Sunny Park Coliseum, thankfully with air conditioning this time. Oh thank god, so much better than that last match. Yes indeed. Manaphy and Marill looking like they want to do some damage to each other, let's see what happens on turn number one. Manaphy will move first, going for Tail Glow. That will raise Manaphy's special attack by plus two here as Marill goes for his substitute. Taking it down one quarter health, however, a nice doll comes out on the red corner. I just want to pick it up and take it home with me. Unfortunately, I don't think you could touch that one as Manaphy goes for its swift attack, hitting the substitute. And causing it to and fade, the actually. Gone. 
That's Swift is doing some damage. Morel with a belly drum there. That was risky. Cut its own HP and gets plus six attack here. Restored now its HP up to half health. Morel plus six attack. Let's see what it can do here. Morel going for an Aqua Jet right off the bat. Not very effective, however. Oh, not even a, that good of a hit either. Down to three quarters health as Manaphy goes for its Swift with onto the Morel and that will take, oh no, Morel holds on. It survives somehow. With its last well done, little bit of willpower. Maril tightening its focus here. It's going to get a swift attack, so it will lose its focus and its life, unfortunately, as Maril goes down. The red corner sending out now their hip powered on. Three on two in favor of the blue corner, and now we have a sandstorm in the Coliseum. <laughs> Man, if he tries for the water gun, it will hit as the berry weakens the power of the water gun here. Down to half health on the Katadon. Nice and respectable there. If out on going for Earth Power, nice little hit there as Manaphy's Special Defense falls. Zola, how long do you think the Sandstorm's gonna last? Hard to say. I never count the turn for a Sandstorm, I just deal with it. Manaphy again goes for a nice water gun attack, down goes Hip Out on. I always like Hip Out on's cry, it's very unique. Huh. All right, Hip Out was my uh, the VTC team I bred up for Gen Six. It was like I was thinking what I wanted. I'm like Hip Out on. And yes, I know it's Hip Toss. I'm just waiting to see how long before people realize. Hip Oh man, now now I got it. It's so laggy here with our uh, teleprompter as. Giraffery goes for a Zen Heb headbutt here, but it misses. Is it possible we'll get a Menopi, uh, a Menopi sweep here? Very possible indeed. Let's see what happens. It's Manaphy at 74 health right now. Giraffery surrounds itself with his magic coat. Manaphy going for a water gun attack here, and Giraffery holds on. It's clutching up to the last bit of it health. Giraffery gets hit by the sandstorm caused by Hippopotas. Manaphy again going for rain dance now, and why didn't I bring my coat once again? Well, Giraffery. It could be pretty dry here in the commentators booth. Typically it is. Typically, usually we get some AC issues as well as Manaphy goes down. No, you know, I just really need to talk to stream or off this commentary booth. It's very weird why we don't have a roof over this commentary booth, but I'm not complaining here as we're getting to see some nice action with Weezy coming out for the blue corner. Giraffe Rig going again for Zen Headbutt now on the Weezing. Super effective, taking it down to half health. Weezing responds with some sludge, and taking down Giraffe Rig, and down it goes. Well done, Lee Team. You didn't even need to rely on your ho oil. Ho oh, didn't even matter, and the sweep did not occur, but the blue corner is still coming away with the victory. 64% payout. Very nice match that was, wouldn't you say, Dolly Gamer? Oh yeah, it was a good match. I enjoyed that. It's always fun to uh, watch, even if we got rained on a little bit. Well, first it was a sandstorm. Thankfully, we were shielded from that, but the rain is something we couldn't shield out. Well, I really, really need to get something that's a bit more weatherproof. Now get I don't this think side game the... inputs in. I don't think we'd have the full... 
PBR experience, though, if we did that. Two tokens on the line for this side game. We now have the flame badge, it looks like, as Cookie sits there eyeing the gym leader. Very awkward stare down, wouldn't you say? I'd say it's more like raising his and like in a menacing fashion. It's like, give me the badge. Ah, very good point there. We got 900 Poké Dollars for the victory here.